Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Today, we wanted to give you an update on our mail. The mail from the dragon came, and we got a second mail from the dragon. Um, it has not come inside the house. We called the police again, and they sent me to the phone number of the post office, because apparently the post office has its own law force that works with fraudulent mail and crime mail crimes so um, I talked to them and they requested that we bring it down to the post office since we did not open it and um, we could resend it back to the sender so that is our plan today but we wanted to let you know that the reason we do this is because here in the US we have freedom of speech yeah. and they are gonna find out who sent this so it's gonna go through the process and hopefully they'll get whoever it is um, if they're here in the US and if this is a scare tactic for us it's not gonna work no. freedom of speech we feel like what China Communist Party has been doing to its people and the world is terrible is horrible and not okay and so we on this YouTube platform have been speaking out against it and now we've gotten two mails never before happened to us and the person up the street that got the mail was also talking about coronavirus on television we do feel like it's a threat but we're prepared and like we said it's not going to shut us up we're still going to speak how we feel and on our way down there we are going to send our letters out we have one for president trump one for senator scott perry who actually put the tibet bill into place so we're sending a thank you note to him president trump is we want him to sign it when it comes to his desk because we believe truly in our hearts that Tibet needs to be recognized as a free country and if the US does this hopefully the rest of the world will follow suit yeah. um, Joe Biden who is running against President Trump um, we're sending him a letter too because he will also have a poll on this and Tulsi Gubbard she is not the Democratic nomination for president unfortunately um, for many reasons we feel like not so much because she's a woman but because her values are a little bit more Republican than Democratic she's definitely more pro-country than most of the Democrats she also is Hindu which I think is another reason and we love her and so we are going to have her send her a letter because we want everybody to take this seriously yeah. to put this through um, not just a slap in the face to China but for the good of the people of Tibet and so that the, the Holy Dalai Lama can go back to his country. Yeah. So we're gonna take you with us down to the post office. We're gonna go have a talk with them and on our way, we're gonna mail these lovely letters out in yeah. support of the Tibet bill. To start an investigation, but we actually got another one. Okay. And when I called them, they said to bring it down to the post office and refuse it. Is there any way we cannot get these packages to come to our house? Uh, probably not. Um... Like, it doesn't even say who it came from. Yeah, I mean, it's like if they come in here, then it's like, we've got to deliver them. But if they once they get it back refused, because they're going to have to pay postage on the other end, um, it should stop, hopefully. Okay. Because I know, like, when we come here, I can't send out of the country without my name, address. Yeah. How come they can send back to us? I don't know. Because it's got, what's it got? It has like a north side of Westgate of South. Yeah, Island. it's not even like it, a yeah, full address. That? And the police officer told me somebody up the street got the similar one and it was a face mask and that he has been on TV talking about the coronavirus in China and mm -hmm. we've been on YouTube talking about China and now we get these random. That's, yeah. So it's been a little like threatening and that's why we'd rather not get them even if they're still coming. We don't want to see them. They will number. Yeah, I'll take care of it. We'll send it back to them. That's crazy. Yeah, there's definitely no earrings in there. These people are nuts. Yeah. All right. All right. Hopefully this will stop it, you think? Hopefully, yeah. Okay. Because they're going to have to, what they're going to have to do, they're going to have to pay postage when they get it. So if they have to pay for it twice, then that Usually stop it. Okay. Stop. Fingers crossed. Yeah. So we're here at the post office. We dropped off our scary package. 
And now I'm going to mail our letters to the president, to the senators, and um, in support of the Tibet bill. So here they go. So now that we're back from the post office, we've delivered the last, hopefully the last dragon mail that we've gotten. This is not going to silence us. If you meant to do this uh, for that reason, it's not going to work here in the U.S. Freedom of speech is our fundamental right. So we are going to speak how we feel and, and like we just did, sent four letters out in support of Tibet. Um, so you're just provoking us to do even more um, on China and, and why it's doing wrong to the world. So it's not scaring us. It makes me concerned and my family because we have small children, but this is our fundamental right. The police are investigating it. The post office is investigating it. They will find out where it came from. If this is in any way, shape or form a threat, to try to silence us, it doesn't work here in the US like it works in China. And everybody's been pointing fingers about how China lies, how they're deceitful, how they do this, how they do that. And this is proof of it. You sent us a package without your name on it, with an address that wasn't a complete address, and it doesn't have anything what it says is on the outside of it. It's complete proof of the lies and the deceit that we've been talking about here on our channel. We want freedom of speech for everybody. And until you open your doors and allow your people to speak without silencing them, we are going to continue to speak out. We're gonna to continue to support Tibet and push for everybody to recognize it as a free country, its own country. We're gonna to continue to push for uh, democracy and freedom of speech and open doors you know all these viruses are coming from China and you need it's affecting the world and you need to open your doors so people can, can come in and investigate and help you contain it so that we don't continue to lose hundreds of thousands of people and when you push people you think it's going to stop them or silence them but like with India they just push back and now all your apps are out, you know, same thing here. We are not going to let you push us and we are just going to continue to push back for freedom, for democracy, for freedom of speech, for all the good things that people need in this world. We are going to speak out against it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and don't forget to subscribe and join our wonderful family and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.